I'm going to do a series of videos talking about source code escrow arrangements. Before we launch into that, let's take a moment just to ask why any licensee would care about source code escrow. Imagine a scenario where your company has invested significant amounts of money to procure a software solution for your company from a third-party licensor. Perhaps uh, the license fees themselves are quite expensive, but there's also been an, a, a lot of time invested in developments requirements and in gap analysis, and then months of time in integrating the software within your, your uh, own enterprise, training your personnel to use it, porting data from old systems to the new. It can be um, quite an investment of, of time and other resources in order to procure that software. Ordinarily in such arrangements, we simultaneously enter into agreements with the licensor of software to provide both technical support in the form of consultation, call center support and such, and uh, maintenance of the code should problems be discovered, bugs, etc., or failures of that software to conform with the specifications for which you've contracted, then we've entered into a contract where that licensor will fix the code or provide periodic patches or updates or even functional upgrades. What happens if for any reason that licensor becomes unavailable to provide that technical consultation or to provide the maintenance of the code? There may be any number of reasons why this could occur. It could be due to the licensor's bankruptcy, for example, or it may be because the licensor has lost key personnel or has other uh, issues that are uh, occupying its personnel and its attention, and it simply breaches those obligations. Whatever the reasons, it's not your concern as the licensee. You need to have the software supported. If that support becomes unavailable, oftentimes licensees find that their best option is to have the opportunity to provide that support for themselves. But in order to do so, a licensee must have access to the source code of the software so that they can diagnose the bugs, diagnose whatever the code problems are, and then correct that code, recompile the software, and use it within the scope of the, of the license that they already had. In order to do that, we often simply ask for the source code and refrain from using it unless we have to. It's not always an attractive uh, option to have to learn the software source code and, and learn how it operates in order to fix it. Uh, but oftentimes we simply ask for that. But licensors are often, usually, uh, reluctant to simply provide that source code. And so we enter into an escrow arrangement where the source code is placed into an escrow deposit account and is accessible to us upon the occurrence of certain events. That's why we as licensees would want to have the source code so that we can support ourselves in the event that the licensor is unable to do so. And oftentimes that is a much preferable option rather than uh, abandoning use of that software in which we've invested so much time in order to simply go to some other software with another vendor who is available to support it. We'd prefer to stick with the software that we've in-licensed and simply learn to support it ourselves. 